Bonita Bonita fam. Happy Wine Wednesday. It's Ryan Hill, and I'm here at the winery. We just finished bottling the 2022 vintage of Mama Juice Chardonnay. It's going to be making its way to all of our members next month. And I just wanted to talk about today's tip of the day, which is what does the date on the label mean? There's always a date, a vintage as we refer to it. And what it means is when the grapes were harvested as opposed to when the wine was bottled. So that little date is when the grapes were harvested. The reason that that date is so important is because Mother Nature is different year in and year out. And not every vintage is the same, but here in Napa Valley, we have the luxury of living in 12 to 15% of the entire world that has a Mediterranean climate. So we get pretty lucky with weather, which results with beautiful wines for all of you to enjoy. Take care. Hey, Bonita Bonita fam. Happy Wine Wednesday. It's Ryan Hill. And I am here 1,500 feet above the Napa Valley floor up on the Atlas Peak Appalachian, which is on the eastern side of the Napa Valley. And for all of you members, you're going to be receiving a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon in the spring bundle with grapes from this vineyard. And today's tip of the day, when you get that bottle, is to decant it. Why? It's a young wine with mountain tannins that are gonna be intense. They're gonna taste stickery on your palate. And so the only way to create smoothness and for that wine to open up and show you more aromatically is to decant. So get yourself a decanter this could be a blender, this could be a vase. Just make sure that the vessel is clean. And when you transfer the wine into the vessel and you allow air to interact with the wine at a faster clip, the result is going to be a highly expressive, very aromatic, smooth tasting wine. Hey Bonita Bonita fam, happy Wine Wednesday from sunny San Diego, it's Ryan Hill. And I am here with today's tip of the day, which is a 2020 rule. A lot of you are always asking about the optimal temperatures to enjoy red and white wines. And so for those of you that don't have adequate wine storage, you don't have the fancy wine chilling refrigerators, and all you have is your refrigerator that you use for everything else to keep cool in your life, that will be adequate for this 2020 rule. So here's how it goes. You're gonna store the whites in the fridge, which is where you normally uh, s store them prior to enjoyment. And you're gonna pull them out 20 minutes prior to enjoyment. For the red wines, you're gonna put them into the refrigerator as they're not normally stored there. And you're gonna let them chill down for 20 minutes, getting them down to the optimal temperature. So the 2020 rule is good for reds and whites, and it will get them to that prime temperature for enjoyment. Cheers. Okay, gang, I know on the last Wine Wednesday when I talked about decanting, a lot of you wanted a demonstration. So Becca here at the Napa Rose in Disneyland is decanting the proper way. And she's using a decanter. She has a flashlight to illuminate the neck of the bottle to look for any impeding sediments. This is the 2018 Bonita Bonita Red Blend. It's going to complement our fantastic entree tonight, which is going to be the beef. 